All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of four is equal to negative nine. So what I'm first gonna do is add nine on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of four plus nine is equal to zero. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of four as x squared to the power of two. And I can rewrite nine as three squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And if I have something in the form a squared plus b squared, then this must mean that this is going to equal a plus b squared minus 2ab, because this is the same thing as this without the 2ab. So, this means that a is equal to x, to x squared and b is 3. Going back over here, so I get x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared. And this turns into x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x squared times 3 is equal to 0. So now from here, I get x squared plus 3 squared minus 6x squared is equal to 0. And remember how the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 3 squared minus the square root of 6x squared is equal to 0. And the reason I did that is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this turns into x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x times x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x is equal to 0, and x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x equals 0. So for both of these, because both of these are quadratic equations, you can use the quadratic formula to solve them. So by using the quadratic formula, I'm actually gonna, not going to do that in the video, but you can try that yourself. You should get that x is equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 plus i over 2. And x is also equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 minus i over 2. And also, along with this, you should get x is equal to the square root of 6 times i plus 1 over 2. And x is equal to the square root of 6 times i, or sorry, times 1 minus i over 2. So these are your four solutions. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's obviously the variable which I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first write my equation down here. So I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by x to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2. And x to the power of 2, x to the power of 2, these two cancel out. So now I'm going to be left with 
x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, I can take the ln or natural log on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln of 1. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. And this property is very useful because notice how now x is an exponent. And in this state, it's really hard to solve for x. But now, using this property, I can move it to the front. And now it's an actual term, and it's much easier to solve for it. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And ln of 1 is the same thing as 0. So I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. Now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I also have ln of x is equal to 0, meaning 2 equals 0. And all I have to do to solve this is to add 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, for my second equation, I have ln of x equals 0. And this is basically asking ln of what is equal to 0. And, well, we already know ln of 1 is equal to 0, but what if we didn't know this? Well, what we can do is take e to the power of both sides. So I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. And e and ln, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So now that I have two solutions for x, what I'm going to do is check to see if these are right. So my equation is x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And let's first start by checking 1. So if x equals 1, I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1, so this is right. And now I'm going to check x equals 2. So I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I get 4 equals 4, and this is right as well.